What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing a new spread that I came up with um, for all 12 of the zodiac signs on the sign of Libra. <clears throat> if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section of the channel as well as the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if you like the video. Um, there are 11 cards to this reading, and it's going to go over either a person you're currently dealing with or maybe one that you'll be dealing with in the future. And it's going over this person's appearance, <clears throat> their profession, um, their expression, the, some facts about them, some of their fears, some fiction, maybe some things that you heard that aren't true, and as well as their desires, abilities, some things that are unknown to a lot of people, as well as a message and an outcome. So, Libra, I also had a song for you. It's called um, Letter to My Ex, and it's by Daje. She's an underground artist, spelled D-A-U-J-E-E. -E. And that was a song that came up for some of you. So maybe check that song out if you're Claire audience or if you're just an audience type of person. If you like music or if you like my kind of vibe because she's kind of my vibe. <laughs> I like her music. Um, but she's not really mainstream. Um, I kind of prefer underground. Some of the art, some of these artists haven't been, you know, signed or whatever the case may be. Or noticed even um, by the right people, I guess. All right. So, this person's appearance, you have the Eight of Fire. This person could be someone who is a really good communicator. This person um, is not afraid to tell you how they feel, their wants, their needs. Um, they um, possibly could be an another air sign because you guys are all about communication and like talking uh, there's also a lot of lust with this person they probably are kind of in your dms like hey girl how you doing could be a fire sign um the bottom is the messenger of earth so this could be someone you work with but i feel like this person um communicates to you very well i think this person has um a really cool kind of vibe to them or their aura if it's a woman she's really down to earth she's really um, humble. She's really beautiful in her own right. Um, she could be um, of African descent or this person likes to wear a lot of jewelry and kind of dress up and kind of um, wear like headbands and stuff like that. But I just feel like this person um, could be communing, communing, <laughs> communicating to you in the near future this also could be someone offering you a job like someone could be telling you like oh hey i saw whatever maybe a current job that you have i saw you were doing a really good job we want to offer you this position type of thing but it's something that you're not really going to see coming but it could bring you a lot of money you know what i mean so just have be really confident um when this person communicates but i just feel like this person is someone who could be a manager already um <clears throat> this person could see you as someone who's afraid to express their emotions, someone who's afraid to um, openly express some things. Um, this person's profession, you have the queen of water. So um, this person could be um, kind of an empathetic person, someone who works with people, someone who... Um, Okay, so for some of you guys, this is going to be a labor job. It's a business deal. Um, it's going to be a business deal, but it's going to be a lot of work, and it's going to be kind of factory-based, or this is what this person does. Maybe they own a business. Maybe they're a manager, or maybe they um, work really hard to to um, maintain their business, um, but at the same time, like they're doing something that they've done for a very long time or that they are used to doing, so they're really good at it. Um, I think that this person also... Um, works it's something to do with technology it could be some kind of computers um, some kind of like something to do with social media but at the same time um, this person could have some of you could be dealing with someone who's married and also like wants to offer you some money maybe but I feel like this person um, is like a humanitarian there like for the good of all the people and this could be something that you'll be interested in, in working with, but it's just going to be a lot of work. And I think that it's going to have 
it's going to have to be a lot of like clear communication um, between you and this person to get this off the ground and to get this to go the right way. So for this person's expression, you have the love card, which is the lover's card. Um, for some of you guys, I'm kind of seeing that this person is was already in a committed relationship or this person... Um, could be talking to more than one person at this time. Maybe this person likes beautiful women and they haven't really settled on the one person that they truly want in their life. Maybe they're undecided on what they what it is that they want. But I feel like this person is um, expressive with their emotions a lot. I mean, this might be something that you're not really used to. This person could have really feminine energy and maybe you have more masculine energy at times. Maybe you feel like you're the manly person in this relationship. But I feel like this person has a lot of um, abilities um, that they... Um, Maybe they admire your strength and courage and they want to be more like you. You know what I mean? Maybe there's something to do with some kind of healing field that you guys would be really good at helping like the the collective um, with even in the future. But I just feel like this person um, is very loving and would and can is open and willing to accept like your own flaws and love you as you are. Um, because they see the potential or the beauty that's within you that you might be afraid to show other people. Um, someone could be a psychic as well. Someone has psychic abilities. Some facts about this person. You have the three of air. This person has had their heart broken pretty bad by another person. Maybe what I saw was like this person um, was with somebody and they ended up leaving them and married another person and they're still around this person and it kind of bothers them. So they've had their heart broken really bad, but they have had this ability to turn their pain into power and be this this light in a dark place, this, this angelic figure, this person who has been through so much in their life, but they, but they still continue to, to exude beauty and excellence and strength and courage and determination um, I think that some of you guys uh, could be dealing with someone who has like high priestess um, energy to them where they have a lot of knowledge about the esoteric or they're kind of a spiritual teacher or a guide. But I just feel like this person, someone's in the service and like the health field, but it, as a service to other people, maybe someone works like a lot of hours for that. But I feel like at the same time, this person wants to kind of move around and kind of wants to expand on this, even though they might have taken some losses and gotten hurt really bad in the past. Um, they do still want to talk to you. Maybe this person is from your past. Um, this person it could have been someone who was a teacher in your life um, and maybe it was a hard lesson that they had they had learned on their own and now they want to come into your life and help you kind of on your journey and it will help expand your career along the way. Some fears about this person, you have the nine of earth. This person is afraid to be alone. This person doesn't do well um, handling everything especially some certain aspects of a career on their own they need kind of some they need an assistant maybe this person wants you to be their assistant this person doesn't want you to go out on your own and do things they would rather have you a part of their business if that makes any sense like they don't want to lose you to um, your own business type of energy they want you to work for them and I think that it might leave you in a in a place where you're kind of stuck in this energy because you're not really sure if you should take this opportunity or if you should go out on your own and do something, figure it out on your own kind of thing, or should you just kind of leave without saying anything, or if you should if you should take this opportunity. But I just feel like um, this person might have their own fears about their own career and their own business, but at the same time, this person doesn't like to be alone. This person um, is very spiritual. This person has a lot of wisdom. They're very friendly and gentle people, but they could come off at times they, they have a public image so they might look a certain way to certain people but at the end of the day I feel like you know this person enough this could have something to do with like the mental health field maybe um, helping people gain more independence something along that line some type of creativity or some type of creative way to help people be more independent could be something as well but I just feel like this person um, finds it hard to I think because they got their heart broken so bad in the past, they are afraid of that same thing happening. Like if they were to give into this relationship and tell you how they feel and, you know, give you like this type of love, then maybe it would be too much for you and that you'll leave them like the last person type of energy. 
Um, what's fiction about this person is the six of earth. I think that this person um, <clears throat> is people say that maybe they do too much or they give too much or they don't get what they give or they, they ask too much, but they don't um, kind of give the same in return. And I feel like that's not true about this person. That's just something that might have been said by someone who was salty from the past. You know what I mean? I feel like this person um, has a lot of maybe there's a friendship here where this person... Um, something kind of maybe ended badly and someone would rather just kind of do things on their own or something along the lines like you don't need them type of energy but that's not really how they feel um because they would like to work with you and work in this field and 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 pay you what you deserve to be paid but at the same time um give as much in a relationship as you give you know what i mean it would be an equal give and take maybe this person um has been known to not do that or someone told you that this person doesn't do that you know what i mean some type of thing where they that's not true um this person's desires you have the messenger of fire this person has a lot of passion um for whatever this is because i'm getting two different scenarios here for some of you guys this is a person for some of you guys this is like a job offer i don't know why i keep getting that or maybe it's all rolled into one maybe this is person could be your boss and your lover at the same time um but i feel like this person um, really wants to pursue their dreams and their hopes, but I think that, um, maybe they, they would like to see you, um, just as passionate about them as they are about you so that they're not so unsure moving forward that, you know, that you're not going to give them the same things that they give you. Cause I feel like that happened to them before where, you know, this person could have been with someone who acted single and never really claimed them or something along that lines. Like they didn't get treated very well by the person that they were with. So now they're afraid that, that, um, you know, they're going to get used basically and that you're going to find someone else. But I just feel like this person desires you in the worst way. Like this person, um, could have been someone that you met at a gathering or like a birthday party or something like that. But I just feel like this person noticed a lot of things about you, like your hair and you could have had like a crown or something on or something to do with your, your, your hair and your, your face and maybe the makeup you were wearing and just like how you were like maybe a little bit standoffish, but they like, like that about you kind of thing that you weren't really like, not everybody could have access to you type of energy. Um, with this person's abilities, you have the chariot card. Um, this person has the ability to um, balance out. Like they're not just strictly feminine or just strictly um, masculine. This person has the ability within themselves to to balance out themselves to be in a healthy relationship. And I think that's important. They're kind of a goofy kind of person, and they maybe they travel a lot for their job, or they're kind of always on the road or in the car. But I just feel like this person is in a healthy state of mind and they do maybe want to, um, they have the ability to come to you basically and, and work this out with you if this is what you want. Um, I think they're just paranoid that you don't feel the same way about them. Maybe you've never had this conversation, you know. Um, what is unknown about this person is you have the nine of air. I think that what is unknown about this person is that they either deal with mental health or they have mental health issues that they're kind of working themselves out right now um, so that they don't kind of like crash and burn. Um, I think that this is a situation that could have been a potential like really bad, painful ending, but this person doesn't want to get it there. So they want to like take this last initiative to work on this and and build it up better and in, in a better way and not like overthink this and and have a lot of anxiety about this because maybe that could have been a hindrance to the beginning of this where you guys didn't really get to communicate the way that you would have wanted to maybe someone was more like stuck in their head and and like overthinking everything and not really communicating to you but they don't want this to be over basically you know um and i think that's what they what is definitely unknown in this situation a message is the ace of earth. I see this as an opportunity, an investment, something that this person wants to see where this goes. I feel like this person, you guys could have had a lot of laughs or like a lot of good times together. I feel like you guys um, 
someone also has some psychic abilities i see as well but i just feel like this could be something to do with the career but and also the health field and i think that someone wants to either invest in you or invest in the situation kind of maybe work together um, and collaborate your guys's um, business and kind of go forward in that energy or this person just simply wants to invest in you maybe they'd be willing to help you out financially if you were to need it you know maybe they feel like you're in a place right now where you could need some assistance and they want to give you that you know what i mean whatever it is that you need basically um the outcome is the seven of water so for this outcome i see this as you know this could be a conversation about what it is that you want i feel like there's many opportunities here for you to choose from and i feel like it's going to be up to you what you choose the universe is kind of leaving it out there you know this is going to take some self-discipline for you to kind of manage all of this stuff because i feel like a lot of things are going to go on at once for you and it could get kind of confusing and it might be hard to keep your attention you know what i mean and you're and I feel like this is like almost out of a fairy tale or like a fantasy where you're going to feel like, is this really real? Is this really happening to me? Like, am I getting everything that I really want? You know what I mean? But it's important for you to to um, to keep a balance in your life and, you know, a good schedule and stuff like that. But I also feel like this could lead to marriage for some of you guys. This could be like a life partner. So anyways, that's all I have for you, um, Libra. I hope you have a good night.